Hi, I'm Heidi Borchers. Have you seen all the different birdhouses out there? You know you don't have to use it just for a birdhouse. How about a fairy house? First thing you need to do on your birdhouse is to cut a door for the fairies. And simply put your lines with a ruler and then you take a craft knife and because the wood is always so soft you're just going to cut along like this and you have to cut in a few times and even though it's, it doesn't always get straight, we straighten it out later so don't worry about that. And then when you have it cut you just start with a pair of pliers and pull that all away. Now that you have your opening do any excess trimming with your craft knife to open it or smooth it out. And now we're ready to put on our wooden planks and this is a Mama Aline technique. It's the look of wood with brown grocery bag. I'm using the Aline's Original Tacky Glue in the gold bottle. That's what Mama used. And I'm taking my brown bag, putting the glue on it, and then I take a piece of mat board or you could use like an old credit card and you simply want to smooth it out an even amount. Fold over the top and smooth it out, making sure you get all the edges tight. Now I used to use these little tools that I bought a long time ago, which were like bagel cutters or tomato cutters, um, but they're not readily available. So use just use a nail and just put in your embossing with the, this is going to make it look like it's the wood. I've cut my brown bag into half inch strips. Now you're ready to glue it on to your birdhouse. And just cut it to fit, glue it on, and then let it dry. And we're ready to paint. For the brown bag to look like it's wood, you first have to put in shadows, and that you do with the black paint. And I've watered the black paint down a little bit, and you just simply, it's a really quick, in all the different grooves to separate the planks. You can even add some lines to create different lengths of the planks. And then also to add a little bit more shadow, we want some black that's straight from the bottle and you're going to go just dry brush a little bit and this defines the different planks. Remember this is just the shadow that we're putting in. Next we're going to color the planks with some brown and I've watered it down a little bit. If you have too much then blot it off on a paper towel and just go the same direction as the planks. Now the planks need a little bit of highlighting and so I use some white acrylic paint and I use it full strength but I also wipe some of it off because we don't want too much. We just want a little bit of like a whitewash. And again go the same direction of the planks. To finish off the highlights just a little touch of green again. Wipe your brush off. And that kind of shows that it's a little bit mossy. So here's the side of your fairy house that's finished. It's complete with all the painting on it. I think it looks fabulous. Also, to make the um, shingles, just cut little pieces of your brown bag and glue them onto the top. And then you can also make doors and you can make some pieces to cover up, um, some little small pieces that would be like molding to cover up. Stick a fairy in it. The little fairies come in um, a little tube. Cut some uh, sheet moss and some flowers and you have a beautiful fairy house. This fairy house you're going to want to enjoy indoors only. The Aline's Original Tacky Glue in the Gold Bottle is available at Michael's. It's terrifically tacky and creatively cool.